I secured 6th rank in first attempt in MPPSC 2018 and I got selected as Deputy Collector. Then I came to know what is important from exam point of view in MPPSC. I will teach you vast subject like Indian polity in concise and easy way so that you can attempt the questions comfortably. Come study with me in Sharma Academy's distance learning program. I am Kiran Anjana and I teach in Sharma Academy's distance learning course. Jahan students, welcome to the video lecture of Shama Academy. Today I am going to discuss questions which are relevant from exam point of view. Here I am, will give you the brief description of each and every question so that if anything asked in the exam regarding this, you will be able to answer. You can also join our test series which is absolutely free. For the same, you can download the PDF from the link given below in the description box of this video. Now, without taking your much time, let's start. So, the question is on your screen. Now, the next question is, which one of the following part in peppermint has maximum percentage of oil? So, what do you think, friends? Again, the four options are in front of you. The question is very easy. Uh, so, I think you can give the correct option. So, again, I am repeating the question for you, friends. So, which of the following part, okay? Which of the following part in peppermint has maximum percentage of oil? So, what do you think, friends? What is the correct answer? So, whether it is a root stem leaf or flower so let's see whether you are correct or not yes sir yes friends the correct answer is leaf okay so the which of the following part in peppermint has has maximum percentage of oil so it is leaf friends so the peppermint oil it is also known as menthol oil okay what is the peppermint oil is known as you can note it down because it may be as in the name of menthol also is made up of peppermint leaves by steam distillation process okay and its scientific name is mentha arnesis you can write the uh, scientific name of peppermint it is actually mentha arnesis okay the oil has a high concentration of natural pesticides okay uh, it is a natural pesticides also and the mainly constituent constitutes it mainly constitute what methanol and meth menthol both okay means it contains just 40.7 uh, percent of methanol menthol sorry menthol and uh, sorry menthol it is and 23.4 uh, percent of menthol Now come to the next question, friends. Kutu flower is obtained from what? Okay, kutu flower. So what do you think it is obtained from what? Whether it is obtained from a tapioca, phagopyrum, plantago or elushine. Where from where it is obtained? So let's see the correct option, friends. The correct option is phagopyrum. Yes, friends, kutu flower is obtained from the plant buckwheat that is also known as phagopyrum. Okay? It is a it is obtained from a plant, it's another name is buckwheat. Okay. This plant is cultivated for its grain like seeds and also used as a cover crop also. Okay, despite the name buckwheat is not related to wheat. Okay, its name is what? Buckwheat. But it is not related to wheat at all, as it is it is not a grass. Instead, buckwheat is uh, related to sorrel, knotweed, and rhubarb. Okay, because its seeds are eaten, and it is referred to as pseudo cereal. Pseudo cereal means it looks like pseudo cereal, but it is actually not cereal. So, phagopyrum it is also referred to as pseudo cereals, which is actually cereal, but it is act which is actually not cereal it looks like cereal now come to the next question friends which of the following statement is are uh, is or are correct okay so there are uh, three statements in front of you first you have to read the statement carefully so let's read the statement viruses lack enzymes uh, so i think enzymes 
necessary for the uh, generations of energy viruses can be cultured in any synthetic medium viruses are transmitted from one organism to another by biological process only so what do you think friends what should be the correct answer so let's see whether you are correct or not so only one option is correct okay a virus is a small infectious agent that replicates only inside the living cell and outside the living cell they behaves uh, they behave as a non living okay so energy producing system is absent here in them energy producing system is absent so viruses exist in the form of independent particle the viral particles also known as virions okay so the viruses lack enzyme necessary for the generation of energy this is the correct option Now the next question is which of which one of the following is a secretion from the body of an insect what do you think friends which one of the following is a secretion from the body of an insect so let's see the correct option friends the correct option is lac yes friends lac is the correct option uh, in the market the bangles of lac is also available okay ornaments of lac is also available so i think you are very well versed about lac so lac is what actually it is a scarlet resinous secretion of number of species of lac insects okay insect is responsible for it of is the most commonly cultivated species is caria lac okay i am writing it lacca Caria lacca. Okay, this is the species which is most commonly cultivated. Now, cultivation begins when a farmer gets a stick, means brood log that contains eggs ready to hatch. Okay, there is a stick on which uh, numbers of uh, eggs are there which are ready to hatch, and ties it to the tree to be infested. Okay, then this stick is tied to where? It is tied to the tree. Now thousands of lac insects colonize the branches of whole trees on which it is now tied okay and secrete the resinous pigment it is used in the manufacture of varnishes also sealing wax shellac etc about the sum of 2 crore kg lac every year is exported from india so you can assume ki we are how uh, much quantity of lac we are producing daily Now come to the next question friends A person of mixed European and Indian blood in Latin America is called okay so in Latin America if a person is mixed with European and Indian blood so what they are known as actually so let's see to it so they are known as actually mestizo mestizo okay in Latin America person of mixed race especially one having European and American Indian percentage okay so what they are called actually the term matches match matcho okay uh, taking as its ori uh, the term actually earlier its term was i am writing it you can note it down matchizi it was used matchizi and taking its origin from matchio um, uh, or mixed is the spanish word for general process of mixing ancestries okay so what is the word that is used for mixing european and indian blood that is mestizo this is the correct option okay mestizo now come to the next question friends a man feels unpleasant due to humidity and heat the reason for this is what where it is more sweating less sweating sweat does not evaporate due to humidity or sweat is not formed due to humidity what do you think when there is lot of humidity in the atmosphere we feel unpleasant okay if we go to uh, uh, coastal areas we feel very we feel very uncozy unpleasant uncomfortable because of what what do you think what should be the correct answer so the correct answer is like that sweat does not evaporate due to humidity okay man feels unpleasant due to humidity and heat because the body sweat does not evaporate due to humidity as moisture content is very high in the atmosphere so it does not allow the perspiration to evaporate okay so the that time the person feel 
what it feels uncomfortable and if the per the perspiration the sweat it will not evaporate we will not feel cool okay so after the evaporation of sweat we feel cool now come to the next question friends an eye donation which one of the following parts of donor's eye is utilized so whether it is a cornea lens retina or whole eye so let's see the correct option friends the correct option is cornea yes friends the cornea is the correct option what is the correct option friends cornea so the cornea is what it actually is a clear transparent layer in front of the black portion of the eye you can see in front of the black portion of the eye there is a color uh, there is a clear transparent layer so this part of the eye is used in donation it is also the main focusing surface cornea is also what it is also the main focusing surface okay so which converge light rays as they enter the eye to focus on the retina it is thus the most important part of the optical apparatus of the eye loss of transparency directly result in loss of vision also okay now come to the next question friends match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using the code given below in the list so let's see the correct option friends yes the correct option what do you think what should be the correct option so let's see again the list you can see the list again so you have to match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer so the the list is like that here in list 1 central lung institute central leprosy institute and motilal nehru national institute of technology and institute of sugar technology so the four uh, in the list two four options have been given here so here you can match it with the correct option so let's see uh the correct option so you can see here uh, the correct match order is central dog institute it is in lucknow where it is it is in lucknow okay now central now central leprosy institute it is in agra okay motilal nehru institute it is in actually alabad where is where is motilal institute it is actually in alabad okay you can note it down now and uh, if you see indian institute of sugar technology indian institute of sugar technology it is in kanpur okay so you can match it like this it is in where it is in indian institute of technology it is in actually kanpur okay so this uh, if you match uh, if you know all the institute so whatever the option has been given you can choose the correct option also now to come to the next question friends the chief mosquito repellent is obtained from what whether it is obtained from bacil whether it is obtained from lemon margo or turmeric okay bacil means tulsi lemon means nimbu margo means neem and turmeric means haldi so what do you think from where it is obtained So let's see the correct option, friends. So the correct option is here, yeah. margo. Yes, friends, margo is the correct option. The chief mosquito repellent is obtained from neem. Neem has medicinal quality. You know that neem has many, several medicinal qualities. Okay, uh, are prepared by its seeds and leaves. This uh, uh, transporter, uh, trans uh, actually mosquito repellent. It has been prepared by its seed and leaves also. Basil, turmeric have the antibiotic quality and lemon is the main source of what vitamin c you can see here basil, uh, basil and uh, this turmeric they are having antibiotic property and lemon it is used as a source of vitamin c now come to the next question friends which of the following is used by the dentist to see the image of tooth of a patient so what do you think what is the correct option friends so let's see the correct option So the correct option is actually none of these. Yes, friends, uh, we can see neither convex lens nor the convex concave lens, not convex lens, concave convex mirror or plane mirror. They are used 
by the dentist to see the image of teeth of a patient instead of it concave mirror is being used by the doctor okay what they use concave mirror because they give magnified and erect image uh, at a short uh, short range okay now the question is like that the presence of parasites within parasites is a phenomenon known as okay what they are asking see the presence of parasites within parasites so what this phenomenon is known as what do you think friends so let's see the correct option so it is known as hyperparasitism okay so the a uh, hyperparasitism is a parasite whose host is also a parasite okay so a hyperparasite is what as a parasite whose host is also a parasite this form of parasitism is specially common among entomophagous parasite okay in which it is common so i'm writing the name the it is mostly common in entomophagous parasite okay so this uh, the presence of parasite within parasite it is known as hyperparasitism and it is basically common among entomophagous parasite the term used here loosely to refer also to parasitoids okay the term is used loosely to refer also to parasitoids i am writing it also whose host are parasites or parasitoids the distinct uh, the distinction is not always clear from or of interest in practice okay so actually it is referred as hyper uh, parasitism when parasite is present within the parasite now come to the next question friends in living being nutrition respiration and synthesis are three major aspects of what what do you think in nutrition what are they in living being nutrition respiration and synthesis are the three major aspects of growth metabolism reproduction of self per perpetuation so this is very again easy option by only reading all all these four options you can readily give me the correct option so the correct option is actually metabolism yes friends nutrition respiration okay all this nutrition respiration okay and synthesis are the three major aspects of metabolism now metabolism is what metabolism is a term that is used to describe all chemical reactions okay all chemical reaction involved in the maintenance of living state of cells and the organism okay so all this we can see nutrition respiration synthesis they all are chemical reaction which are generally required to maintain the living states of a cell of a cell okay now metabolism can be conveniently divided into two categories okay we can divide this metabolism into two first is catabolism if you heard about it and next is anabolism now what is actually catabolism so catabolism the breakdown of molecule to obtain energy breakdown catabolism is what breakdown of molecules that is food molecule okay to obtain what to obtain energy and anabolism it is actually the synthesis of all compound means the synthesis of complex molecule complex compound okay needed by the cell so here catabolism is the breakdown process of molecule uh, breakdown of molecule and here synthesis of complex compound from molecule it is known as anabolism so you got the difference between the two okay what is catabolism and anabolism now come to the next question friends who discovered bacteria yes friends so the four scientists name again in front of you what do you think who discovered bacteria whether it is a fleming or it is a lambel ten uh, tamin or leuwenhock so let's see it yes friends leuwenhock yes the full name is anthony von leuwenhock i am not writing its full name anthony von leuwenhock is regarded as the father of microbiology
what it what he is regarded as father of microbiology okay uh, he, he was regarded as the father of microbiology he is known for the discovery of bacteria he was born on october 24 1632 in delft netherland okay now come to the next question friends camels use their humps for what what do you think camel use their humps so let's see things let's see to it storage of fat yes friends there is 50 kg huge hump on the camel's spine how much kg 50 kg which can store a lot amount of fat so camel use this fat as an energy source during its long journey where when it will not get the water uh, where it will not get the food okay it is notable that camel is said a ship of the desert because of their favorable feature means they can walk on the sand because they have web feet they can survive for such a long time without food and water also they have padded legs and can drink gallons of water even at a time okay so these are the characteristics which make uh, which uh, makes camel the ship of the desert which was the first animal to travel to space so again the four option is in front of you what do you think which of the following animal traveled to space so yes friends you are correct because we have heard about it many a time it's a dog okay the laika was a soviet space dog okay uh, it was a uh, rather than it's uh, it was a bitch okay who became one the first animal in space and the first animal to orbit in the uh, orbit the earth like a stray dog from the street of moscow was selected to be the occupant of soviet spacecraft sputnik 2 okay in where uh, in which uh, spacecraft it, uh, it was travel it was travel in sputnik 2 that was launched launched into outer space on november 3 1957 now come to the next question friends physio chemical characteristics of water shows okay physio chemical characteristics of water shows in water sources this changes is due to aquatic macrophytes aquatic fungi effluents or evap evaporation and transpiration what do you think see this evaporation and transpiration together is known as evapor transpiration okay so what do you think what should be the correct option friends so the correct answer is effluent so the physico chemical characteristic of water shows in water sources this changes is due to in influence effluent sorry effluent so effluent is an outer flowing of water or gas uh, from a natural source okay it is what it is outer flowing of water or gas from natural sources of water or from a man made structure also okay effluent is the artificial sense is generally considered to be water pollution such as the outflow uh, from a sewage treatment of waste water from discharge from industries the outflow is water of water is mainly done in river lake sea etc now come to the next question friends which one of the following type of microorganism is most widely used in industries what do you think which one of the following type of microorganism is most widely used in industry so let's see whether you are correct or not so the bacteria microalgae and fungi yes friends these are actually used in microorganism uh, actually in microbiology industries okay so bacteria fungi and microalgae all three are widely used in industries today bacteria is used in manufacturing of curd you can see but it is used in the manufacture of curd cheese also okay butter in making different types of antibiotic medicines if we see diatoms are a small group of algae okay this micro algae actually they are diatoms and they are the small groups of algae so diatoms are small group of algae diat diatomaceous soil consists of fossilized remains of diatoms a type of hard shell algae okay it is used in manufacturing of glass it is also used in sugarcane meals as bacteria filter so it is used in glass industry in manufacture of glass now come to the next uh, if you see uh, fungus 
So fungi or fungus, it is also known as yeast, have been used for thousands of years in the production of beer. Okay, yeast actually. Wine, bread. Okay, beside this, different types of acids like acid, citric acid, gallic acid is obtained from different types of fungus also. Now come to the next question, friends. Crops lo uh, logging is a method of what? What do you think? Crop logging is a method of what? So let's see the correct option, friends. The correct option is like that. Plant crop logging is a method of plant analysis for assessing the requirement of nutrient for crop production. Okay, so crop logging may be of great help to determine the adequate level of different nutrients of good plant growth and high yield. Okay, so uh, now the concept of crop logging was developed by Clemens of USA for growing of sugarcane in Hawaii, where the fertilizer requirements of these crops are greatly influenced by weather and climate. Crop logging is a method of plant analysis for assessing the requirement of nutrient for crop production. Now come to the next question friends. The complete of glucose in the presence of oxygen. Sorry. Uh, this, is this question. The complete conversion of glucose. In the presence of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water with release of energy is called what? What do you think? It is called actually... Aerobic respiration is yes, friends aerobic respiration is the release of energy from glucose or another organic substance substrate in presence of oxygen resultant glucose is converted into CO2 and then H2 okay by this process large amount of energy is released okay aerobic respiration helps all the time in the cell of animal and plants now come to the next question friends you uh, no. uh, ashuries possess distinct blooms of excessive growth of pigmented dinoflagellates these blooms are so what do you think these blooms are what so let's see the correct option friends these blooms are actually red tides okay so an ashuri is a partially on the uh, on the closed body of uh, water along the coast where the fresh water from river streams meet and maxi maxi mixes with salt water from the ocean okay due to the presence of dinoflagellates algae okay due to the presence of what dinoflagellate algae which are abundant in sediments from red color what they form red color ultimately this caused by blooms called red tides what they are called red tides Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have liked my video, so please press the like button. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, so please subscribe our channel right now. And uh, if you want me to give some comment, okay, and because your comments are very precious to us, so please do comment. And if you have find this video informative, so please share this video with your friends also. Thank you very much.